today, February 28, 2022. Things escalating uh, across the globe, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, things really beginning to get a bit out of control here. And I want to share some articles with you and um, just talk about what's happening uh, right here in America, Eastern Europe. I was watching uh, uh, a reporter uh, yesterday in Eastern Europe, and he said that he couldn't even use his credit cards. He couldn't use his Apple card. Uh, the restaurants and the stores would only take cash. And I thought that was pretty interesting uh, because we're watching systems in Eastern Europe completely shut down. We are watching bank runs take place. And as I make this video, uh, markets across the board down, gold up, silver up, uh, cryptos up. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how all this plays out. And I was thinking this morning is we haven't heard anything uh, coming from China. And the world now is uh, literally shutting down Russia, turning their backs to Russia. Uh, nobody's doing business with them. The big uh, race car event, uh, soccer, everything done with Russia. So the world is, is, is shutting off Russia, but we haven't heard anything from China. And what if China just came out and said, look, anybody that is committing sanctions against Russia, we're not going to ship goods to. I don't think that that's going to happen, but what if it did? And why is China being so quiet? And we know that uh, China is friends with Russia. And as this escalates, China is going to have to come out and say something. But I want to get back into this uh, uh, news of bank runs taking place in Eastern Europe. People are, are scrambling to pull money out of ATMs. And this uh, makes me ask the question today, is our money safe in the bank? Is your money safe sitting in an ATM? Can you get to it when you need it? Hedge fund billionaire Bill Ackman said that once a bank can't transfer or receive funds from other banks, its solvency is at risk. If I w if I were Russian, I would take all my money out now. That is what Bill Ackerman said yesterday. Bank runs have begun as locals line up uh, at cash machines, uh, at their banks, and the banks now are only allowing you to take a certain amount of money out. So if you're in Ukraine, you're in Russia, uh, Poland, uh, you can only take a certain amount of money out. Uh, they are fearing at this point that the ruble could collapse down 30 percent today. And uh, who knows what else is going to happen. But uh, take all this as a warning to you how fast things can escalate, how fast things can get out of control, how fast your banks can shut down, your ATMs can shut down. How about Europe? What will, what will Europe do for energy? And what does this mean for us? Uh, I guarantee that your gas prices are going to go up even more than they have. Um, they are right now currently uh, sanctioning the Russian Central Bank. Now, ask yourself this, what if the Russian Central Bank defaults on its foreign debt immediately. You will have another layman moment, ladies and gentlemen. A massive layman event could occur. What does this mean? This means that your money could be locked up. This means your t ATMs could shut down. Your banks could shut down. This means you may have uh, only a limited amount of money that you could pull out of a bank or out of, out of uh, uh, a, a money market or a 401k. It could all be shut off or limited very quickly. Russia has $300 billion deployed in money markets. If this gets frozen, this would lead to missed payments more problems for your bank, my bank, and the financial institution. You know, they, they say that if you owe a bank a million dollars, it's your problem. You owe a bank a billion dollars, it's the bank's problem. This could really uh, affect and hurt banks across the globe. Russian ruble plunges nearly 30% against dollar amid sanctions over Ukraine invasion. Uh, that, that's more news today, and this is going to have, uh, I, I think, um, major effects in the coming near future. The last time the ruble crashed uh, like this, uh, 
the LTM crashed, which is the long-term capital management, which was a large hedge fund, ladies and gentlemen, led by Nobel Peace Prize winning economists and renowned Wall Street traders. It blew up in 1998, forcing the U.S. government to step in to intervene to prevent financial markets from collapsing. Uh, this back in 1998, long-term capital management collapsing. And now uh, we're on the verge of quite possibly seeing something like this take place again. Russia more than doubles interest rate to 20 percent to halt ruble collapse, suspends stock trading on Moscow. Everything over there is crashing and you're going to see more problems in Eastern Europe. And as the problems get bigger, we're going to see problems here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, look, it's great that gold's up, silver's up, cryptos are up. But my question is, we're hearing so much about cyber attacks. What good is a cryptocurrency going to be if we begin to see more crypto attacks taking place throughout the world? If the system goes down, ladies and gentlemen, you better make sure that you're, you're, you're going back to simplicity. You better have some cash. You better have some gold, some silver, barterable items, some food, some water, uh, security, a first aid kit, trauma kit, vitamins, lighters, matches, clothing, pair of boots, things like that. You got to really, really be thinking outside of the box right now because the technology, the, the weaponry in technology today is, is absolutely amazing. And I know that we believe as a country nothing bad can happen to us, but what if there is some type of retaliation? Uh, what if it's somewhere else in Europe? Uh, it's going to affect us, but what if that retaliation comes here, hits our financial institutions, our banks, our markets? Are you prepared for that? All of your money sitting on a computer screen. All of your money is sitting uh, on a plastic card. And you just believe that you can go to that ATM today and get money out of it. It's, it's working today. Uh, I hope it is. Uh, we've seen many of the ATMs close. But what if we see things on a much broader scale where all of a sudden now there's lines at ATMs or the ATMs are just empty and closed? Lines at the banks. Um, look, there's people now in Eastern Europe living this nightmare that they thought never could happen to them, and now it's happening to them. U.S. bans transactions with Russian Central Bank, freezing nearly half of Russia's $630 billion in reserves. Again, what if they just say, hey, we're not paying our debts now. How many American banks, uh, European banks, Asian banks, uh, financial institutions, hedge funds are invested in Eastern Europe or invested in Russia? And people don't understand the blowback and the fallout that can come. Viasat believes cyber event is disrupting its satellite internet service in Ukraine. This on CNBC this morning. This is a, a, a company based out of California. And we're just hearing more and more about these cyber disruptions, cyber attacks. Uh, and they're going to continue, ladies and gentlemen. And it's only a matter of time before we see something significant happen right here in America. And don't be caught off guard. Watch what's happening right now over in Eastern Europe and take it as a warning of what could happen here. It's only a matter of time. We're going to see a big bank. We're going to see some financial institution. We're, we're going to see the markets hit at some point in our lifetime. Are you prepared to deal with the consequences? That is the question today. Are you prepared to deal with the consequences? What's the, what's the solution? Well, the solution is make sure you're your own central bank. Make sure you have cash put away. Make sure you have barterable items put away. Make sure you have some gold and silver put away. Um, look, if you're a crypto person, have some crypto put away. But uh, if a cyber attack hits and shuts down the system, good luck using digital money, uh, good luck using uh, a crypto. It's going to come back to simplicity, what you're holding in your hand. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. All that counts uh, at a time like this, when the system goes down, is what can you get to? What are you physically holding and what actually has value? Things on a screen will be worthless. Things on a screen won't even work. It will be what you're holding in the palm of your hand what you can get to. 
God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll continue to uh, watch events. Will the plunge protection team step in today and get these markets up in the green? Don't know. We got a long way to go. A couple hours left in the market. Wanted to make this video uh, early. We'll see what happens this afternoon. Uh, again, so much uncertainty. Be preparing for uncertainty, volatility. This is only the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. This is early 2022, and look at what's already developing. What's next?